Hello Scorpio, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be your love reading. It'll be a general love reading for um, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It will not resonate with everyone watching, so feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. I'm gonna be trying a different spread today. I've gotten some really cool Oracle cards and just new cards in general, and I wanted to use them today with a different spread. Looking more at your person, the person that you are thinking about currently, and then I also made my own deck um, at home here <laughs> with messages from your person, messages about the relationship. And so I'll be using those later on. So let's get into it, Scorpio. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio? I'm gonna start with the current energies for your person, Scorpio. The person that you are thinking about. Great. What messages do you have for Scorpio regarding the person they are thinking about? What are their current energies? What are the current energies of the person Scorpio is thinking about, please? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, or subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments. Thank you so much for your support. All right, Scorpio. I want that one. Exchanging gifts. Interesting. Another sign got this. And when I got theirs, I thought of exchanging communication. So we'll see if I can get some more clarity on that. Fork in the road. So your person wants to exchange gifts there. Okay. And treasure island. Interesting. So let's get into these a little bit more. This is the Ojo Sun deck. Um, it's a tarot deck. It's made after, I guess, traditional tarot, but it's nothing like it. Um, so I use it more like an oracle deck. Um, I intuitively take the messages from it that I do. Sometimes I do think about traditional tarot, but not always. So, all right, tell me about this exchanging gifts. What's this exchanging gifts energy about? Remember, this is the current energies for your person. Feel free to flip the roles if they resonate, guys. Exchanging gifts, what's this about? The creator, interesting. Fire energy, this is someone that manifests. Huh. Look at that real quick. This is a fire sign, so this is the King of Wands energy. So this person wants to take action here by exchanging something. The King of Fire tells us that anything that we undertake now with the understanding that comes from maturity will bring enrichment to our own lives and to the lives of others. Using whatever skills you have, whatever you have learned from your own life experience, it is time to express yourself. Interesting. So this person is, again, I'm feeling that energy of manifesting, creating something, going after something that they want here. And I don't know why it's with exchange gifts. What is this about with exchanging gifts? What's the romantic message? I mean, obviously, yes, you exchange physical gifts, but I think there might be something more to that. Love is an exchange of life force energy between two beings. It grows exponentially when it's re reciprocated. You must give and receive in order for love to flourish and abundance to flow between you. Spirit wants you to start accepting all the blessings waiting for you, as well as offer the same gift in return. Open your heart and allow it to be filled. Let love in and let it flow out of you too. Love is truly yours today. Interesting. So this person is looking for reciprocation. Maybe they haven't had it from their person. Maybe that's what they're looking for in a relationship. Um, an equal give and take here. Tell me about fork in the road. It's all about making a decision, choosing a path. The burden. This is similar to Six of Swords, um, or, you know, that's Six of Air. Um, but this I'm taking it as someone literally carrying a burden with them. I feel like this person is trying to make a decision here about letting a burden go. 
that's the choice they have to make. Whether they keep going on this path where they're tired, they're carrying a lot on their plate, or whether they want something a little bit smoother. Tell me about Treasure Island. Treasure Island is about, you know, obviously finding treasure, but also love. Tell me more about Treasure Island. This person is seeking something, seeking their personal treasure, what they treasure, what they value. Yeah, existence. I feel like this person is feeling like the existence has no, there's no point to their existence. There's no, there's no potential. There's no, nothing to really, nothing that fulfills them, right? They're going after what fulfills them, what makes them happy here. Um, so let's see, because I have a feeling too, another message that I'm getting is that someone here or this person, whoever this, this person is, I feel like they're finding their purpose. There's something that's going on in their life that's forcing them to look at what, what, where they are right now, what they're doing, what choices they're making, who they're surrounding themselves with. This is the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck. I love this deck. I'm still learning it. So let's see what this person, how this person sees you, Scorpio, and the connection. How does this person see you, and how do they see this connection? How does this person view Scorpio or the connection spirit? This person view Scorpio or the connection. Wow, tarantula. That makes perfect sense. So tarantula is all about being forced to stop and look and take action. It's like warning, warning, focus. <laughs> I'm going to look at that one up in the book. And then there's Cobra. This is patiently watching, waiting. Um, Cobra also has a link to the spirit world. They're very protective. Someone here could be protecting something that they value. And then whale. Wise. They are loving. Deep. Let me see what the animal spirit guy has to say about this tarantula though. Because I don't want you guys to be thinking I'm just telling you stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Look what it says. At a crossroad. Tarantula. Fork in the road. Makes sense. Okay, so this, this represents a moment when a great decision must be made. It involves prioritizing your life's deeper purpose. That's what I was thinking. This person's thinking about their purpose. A habit or routine from the past is sidetracking you from your dream. Yet a voice inside keeps begging you to refocus your attention. In order to find true happiness, you must choose Dharma. Until you do, satisfaction will be fleeting. The tarantula hovers patient and calm like an old friend that knows your inner soul. It already knows It already knows you'll choose wisely. So this is all about following your intuition with the tarantula. I feel like this person has is following their intuition here. Going after their purpose. Cobra is pausing, waiting, um, a teacher or spiritual guardian. Ever present, ever protecting, ever loving. So this is about learning, being a student in life. I feel like this person also is patiently waiting for the right time or patiently waiting and evaluating in order to make this decision. And then I'm just going to really quickly read the whale for myself because I already know what it means, but I want to make sure I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, they're calm, steady, and deeply compassionate. So that's the whale. They have a lot of depth because they have a lot of life experience. I feel like this person is looking deep within themselves to figure out what truly matters to them. And that's been a common theme in these readings. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio regarding love? What does Scorpio need to know regarding love? 
I'm going to clarify all of these, by the way. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, slow and steady wins the race here with the Knight of Pentacles. An offer of stability. Ten of Wands. Burden. Burden. This person is letting a burden go. Whoever this is. Page of Pentacles. Okay. More offer. Message of an offer here as well. And Six of Swords. Yeah, this person's leaving a situation for something calmer. Tell me, tell me more for Scorpio Spirit. What else does Scorpio need to know regarding love? Five of Swords. This is all about mental or communication. Um, how do I say it? Not communicating clearly. A loss, defeat. Um, words being said that you can't take back unfair advantages. I've been looking at the Five of Swords differently. I used to just think it was loss, defeat. Um, but I also think because it's swords, it has to do with the mind, right? There's been a loss, like a mental, um, something that someone is stuck in mentally because of something they've lost, because of a defeat they've had, because of an unfair advantage that someone else had over them. Let's get one more. Get one more for Scorpio, please. Yeah, Eight of Cups. This person is walking away towards their happiness. Bottom of the deck, Page of Cups. More messages. This person is at a fork in the road to make a decision here. And the decision, I feel, is to drop a burden and leave. I see it clearly. They're going to lose something when they do that. It's not going to be an easy decision for them. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. But I think they want to offer stability here to someone. Maybe to themselves, maybe to you, Scorpio. Maybe they want to approach you with an offer. Maybe they want to approach someone else with an offer. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio. Ten of Swords. Wow. So this could be taken two ways. Either this person is um, going through an ending that left them very hurt. And then moving towards something steadier, st st more stable. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles. King of Wands. King of Fire up here. Going after what they truly want here. This person is going to go after what they want. But they have to end something first. I have Nine of Pentacles under the deck. Maybe they have to be single first. Maybe this person is not single or doesn't want to be single anymore. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Ten of Wands here. Whoever this person is, they have a lot of emotion. Ten of Pentacles. This person could have ended a relationship, a commitment here. Maybe a commitment they were in was a burden. Eight of Swords under the deck. Maybe this was a, a mental trap, something that trapped them mentally, emotionally. Um, cause this is an illusion. This trap is an illusion, but they felt it. Tell me more about this 10 of wands. Yeah. Four of pentacles. I feel like this person was holding tightly to a commitment and now they're ready to let that go. I felt like, yeah, either that or they're holding on to something else that's not related to this commitment. There's a magician under the deck. I thought of the magician with the creator here. This person is almost manifesting this, I think. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. A very small offer, an offer to talk, to... Wow, my God, that's way too many. But Ace of Cups came out with the Hangman. Knight of Swords. Tell me, tell me more about the Page of Pentacles. Okay. Wow. Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's thinking small right now, but in their mind is like a huge long-term commitment. That's what they want. They want stability. This person also might be wanting to reunite with someone. Three of Cups. Um, there could be an engagement of some sort eventually, or this person's thinking... Um, about celebrating something maybe their freedom <laughs> or the fact that they found something more stable tell me about the six of swords 
beautiful. Death. Yeah. Putting an ending here. There you are, Scorpio, by the way. Putting an ending here to walk away. Tell me about the Five of Swords. What happened here? The Chariot? So someone here is losing because someone's leaving? Tell me more. Could be a Cancer. Tell me more about the Five of Swords. Someone could be feeling like they lost a battle here when this person walks away or vice versa. This person might have walked away or this other another person walked away from this person and they're feeling the loss. Tell me more about the Five of Swords. Five of Wands. Yeah, arguing. Battling. This was not, this is not good energy here. And someone's moving forward out of this. They're leaving this behind. Eight of Cups is right after that. King of Swords. Yeah, they're cutting out this drama, this negative energy, this toxic toxicity. Can't talk today. <laughs> Tell me about the Eight of Cups for Scorpio. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Yep. This person's leaving to go after their Nine of Cups. They're going after their wish fulfillment, what, what fulfills them. Remember how I was talking about this person doesn't feel fulfilled. There's the hangman under the deck. I, I'm getting new clarity. I'm getting um, seeing something from a different angle. This person has had some sort of epiphany is what I feel. Let's see what other messages we can get. Oh no. So, all right let's see what other messages we can get for scorpio this is the soul's journey oracle spirit what other messages do you have for scorpio regarding this situation please what other messages do you have for scorpio regarding this situation Freedom. I love it. It fits so well. I possess the power and the the power and the free will to create my own happiness. That's exactly what this person's doing. Can I get one more? And then we're gonna go into what this person would tell you if they had the chance. Ooh. Yeah. Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Yeah, this person, whatever they're doing, it's not gonna be easy. This cutting out of a situation. This burden is not easy, but they're going after something more stable, more, recip more, more reciprocating for them. Bottom of the deck, perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Definitely this creator energy over here. Spirit, what messages would this person tell Scorpio if they had the chance? What would this person say to Scorpio spirit? What would this person say? Scorpio if they had the chance what would this person say to Scorpio if they had the chance to speak to Scorpio wow a year from now so don't freak out this could be a year from now you guys are in a heavily like a heavy commitment it could also be that a year from now is when this person is finally free you know, if this person is doing something like a divorce, for example, well, that takes time. If it's something about like rebuilding their life, that takes time. It could be that a year from now, you guys are married too. I mean, it could mean several things. Tell me what else, what else for Scorpio regarding this person that they're thinking about? Oh, wow. Unhealthy attachments. Yeah, I think this person was burdened with an unhealthy attachment. Remember about the karmic? The karmic situation they're in. You are always on my mind. Well, yeah, we know that. This person is thinking and pondering about their treasure. I feel like that treasure is you. One more. One more. What would this person tell Scorpio? They had the chance. Divine timing is at play. Okay, well, that's probably why it's a year from now that things might come to a complete circle here. Bottom of the deck, I want to work this out. Interesting. So there could be something, there could be um, 
separation, lack of communication between you and this person. Um, so I do feel like this person is breaking free of unhealthy attachments here. Going after what's always on their mind, the treasure that's always on their mind. And divine timing is that place. So a year from now could be very, it's a very special moment for Scorpios or for this person with Scorpio. So um, keep me posted. <laughs> so if this resonated with you, leave me a comment. Let me know. Um, huge thank you once again to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in my next video. Take care.